Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and I tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how you can retouch your full body portraits or your outdoor full body portraits in Photoshop. So I recently did the color grading for this series of images and let me just give you guys a brief overview about the color grading before you can go into the retouching process for this particular image. So this image was taken using a Canon 60 camera and it's a raw file. So right now we are in the camera row interface and basically what I, I did to the adjustments of this portrait I simply I moved the tint. Remember the tint was at around 8 so since I had to get rid of the magentas in the skin tone I simply pushed it down to 0 then I added contrast to the image to around 20 then I pulled the highlights all the way down to get back the information in the sky then I opened up the shadows to 23 and I also pulled down the whites to get more of the information right in the sky behind the model. Then I pushed down the blacks to around negative 32. Then I'm just going to add some clarity to around 4. Then I went all the way down and I added some little bit of sharpening to the portrait. Then the way I got this kind of teal look in the sky area and the denim pants for the model, I simply pushed the greens to towards the yellows all the way to negative 100. Then I also pushed the blues towards the aquas to negative 22. Then I also came the saturation. I left everything the way it was meant to be. Then to the luminance, I started to get back the information in the sky. I pushed it to negative 21 so basically that is what I did to uh, color grade this particular image then the next thing I would love to do so that we don't come back into the camera interface is doing some little bit of eye whitening so that we can just go to Photoshop and do the skin retouching so I'm just going to get my adjustment brush tool then come to my action for the eye and teeth whitening and just do some little bit of eye whitening so i'm just going to dab over the eyes to do the whitening and when i'm done doing that i'm just going to open the image straight into photoshop so that we can do the skin retouching on this particular image so i think we are done doing the eye whitening i'm just going to hit open in order to open the image after doing the eye whitening in the camera interface so just going to come right down here to open i'm just going to open the image into photoshop so that we can do the skin retouching which is more of the emphasis for this specific tutorial so the image is going to open into photoshop and here we are in the photoshop world so the very first thing i do for my full body outdoor images is come into the crop tool and select it so i usually post on instagram that's why I crop this in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10 and this is the crop ratio right now and I'm just going to hit enter then after doing that the next thing I, I prefer to do is getting rid of this uh, soft box right there so I'm just going to create a copy from the background layer by hitting ctrl or command J on the keyboard and I'm just going to get uh, my lasso tool and I'm going to make a selection right on the soft box right there I'm just going to come to edit I'm just going to come to content aware field just like that and I want to see if at all this is going to be doing like a great job for me to try and eliminate the soft box from uh, this particular image so let me just wait and see if Photoshop will do yeah it is really a nice job done right there I'm just going to hit OK and I'm just going to do a little bit more of the cleaning up right on this particular portrait. So let me just wait for the content aware to be affected onto this particular image. And when we're done, we're just going to get another tool that is going to clean up the work done by the content aware. Just going to hit Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Just going to get, um, let me just get our patch tool and I try cleaning up this so I'm just going to clean up I'm just going to select the these layers let me just merge everything shift command E 
to merge everything then I'm just going to try to clean up or remove this or refine what our tool did for us our content aware tool so let's just clean up right there and I think uh, this is almost uh, done so I think that looks fine to me so after you have made sure that you have cleaned up the distractions or you have removed the distractions from the background uh, the next thing is going to be skin retouching and basically I don't want to uh, go through every single step or process for skin retouching but for beginners out there let me just do it for them uh, usually I create two layers from the background layer by hitting Ctrl or Command J. So make sure this background is selected and hit Ctrl J twice or Command J twice. Then you're going to name this low and you're going to name this high. And you're just going to select the low frequency layer and just turn off the high frequency layer. So you're just going to come to filter, blur, and come to Gaussian blur. And after doing that, for the radius right here, for my full body images, I usually prefer to use a radius of around 5 pixels. So I'm just going to move this up to a 5. I think that looks fine. So I have to zoom and look for the skin. Make sure that every detail in the skin area has been lost completely. Yeah, and just hit OK. And the next thing is going to come uh, to be selecting the high frequency layer and activating it. Then come to image and come down to apply image. So in this high frequency layer, I only want to retain the textures or the details in the image. So I'm just going to come to the layer from which I want to subtract the details, which is the low frequency layer. And now come to the blending mode. And since this is a 16-bit image, I'm just going to be using add. And for those interested in, so it doesn't matter basically for full body images. So I, I'm going to be using add, the scale is 2, offset 0, opacity at 100, since this is a 16-bit image. And for those that are having 8-bit images, you can use an option of subtract. Scale is 2, offset 128, and you don't check the invert option. But for 16-bit images, you have to use a blend mode of add. Scale is 2, offset 0, and make sure invert is on. And when you do that, you're going to see the textures on this gray kind of layer. Make sure the preview is on and hit OK, then change the blending mode from normal and look for a linear light right here. And after doing that, you're going to put these two in a group by selecting both and hitting Ctrl Command G on the keyboard. And we can name that maybe FS for frequency separation. Then open this group and select the low frequency layer because when you're doing skin retouching, we usually do it on the colors or the skin tones which are embedded in the low frequency layer. So I'm just going to come right to my brushes and select the mixer brush tool. So this is the mixer brush tool right here and when you select that tool and it is looking like a cross like icon, make sure you turn off the caps lock key so that you can get the tool looking like it is meant to be. So in order to set this, I'm just going to come and as I make sure it is a clean brush and make sure I select or highlight this second option because I don't want the brush to carry color from one specific area to another. Wetness, I'm going to be using a wetness of 9%, load 75, mix 90 and the flow 100. Make sure sample oils is not checked or marked because I don't want to carry textures or information from the texture layer to the color or the low frequency layer. So after doing that, make sure I zoom in and I start evening out the skin tones in the image using the mixer brush tool. So how I do this, I left click and I start moving in the direction of the particular area I'm trying to work on or retouch. So for this case we're just retouching this particular area and make sure you uh, blend the skin tones depending on how the color variations are on that particular area. So just do that and I think that is fine. So for full body portraits, I usually don't do like so much because no one is going to pay that more attention to the details. Unlike the close-up images or the beauty portraits. So I'm just going to 
come the hand area and just blend this highlight and come the shadow areas and also use the mixer brush tool by just painting over so that I can blend and harmonize the skin tones right in those particular areas so and after doing that I'm just going to come to this other I should call it the left arm or her right arm and just come and harmonize or blend or even out the tones in those areas and you can say this is really uh, creating some kind of uniform tones in her skin so just do that and take your time but for full body images uh, you don't have to do all the retouching and let's zoom out and see our progress so far so this is the before and after so far so the next thing is going to be the face so remember for the face most of the attention is going to be on the model's face so make sure you zoom in and you spend some good time on the face area and in order to see those uneven skin tones in the face make sure you turn off the high frequency layer and in this way you're going to be seeing every single area that has an even skin tone transition so just going to come and i start blending just like that using the mixer brush tool so that i can have those even transitions within the skin tones of uh, the model in this case so i'm just going to reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool by using the brackets on the keyboard and just do that right there and you can see that this is really affecting the image in real time so just come to this highlight and just blend it so that you can have a nice transition within those highlights in that area of uh, the cheekbone of the model so just blend that and just take your time while you're trying to even out these tones and just come to the neck area and also blend or do the same in those areas. So I think we are almost done with the first area. So turn this back on and zoom out a little to see what we have done so far. This is a before, after, before, after. Then if at all you'd love to refine this first area, just come and get the lasso tool, feathering of 22 pixels and zoom in slightly and make a selection just like that then come back to filter blur and come to gaussian blur and you can move this feathering up to a point when you feel like uh, you have the best results in the skin of the model so i think right there is fine and come and apply it on the rest of the areas of the face of the model just like that just going to come and do this right there right click and apply it and do the same for the chin area so after doing the skin retouching uh, we have to remove the blemishes or the skin imperfections and in order to do that come and select the high frequency layer and get uh, the clone sum tool or whichever tool you prefer to use to remove the blemishes or skin imperfections so i'm just going to zoom in by using command plus and hold down alternate to sample from a clean area close the blemish and paint over the blemish to get rid of it so for the face you have to zoom all the way in and alternate left click to copy and click to sample or to paste over the blemish to uh, get rid of it so make sure you clean up every little skin imperfection in those particular areas and I'm just going to do this quick because I don't want uh, this to be as long as uh, my usual tutorials. I know so, some of you out there tend to complain that I talk too much. But that is more of the emphasis I try to put across every single time I'm trying to drop a tutorial. And if at all you are watching and haven't liked this video, don't forget to like this video so that it can be recommended to so many people out there who are interested in learning about how to retouch a full body portraits or images in photoshop so let's just clean up this and we are almost done and after doing that i want to show you guys the best way to save your images after uh, doing the skin retouching so that they don't 
lose out on those nice and fine details so I'm just going to zoom out command minus and I think this looks really nice and beautiful so let's see as a before after before after you can see that it is really a subtle change and the results are really nice and beautiful so what I'm going to do I'm going to and slightly brighten up this other right hand of the model. I'm just going to come to the curves adjustment layers and simply brighten up slightly. Just like that. I think that is fine. And make sure the white mask is selected and hit Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard. And come the brushes and get a soft round brush. Opacity and the flow at 100. Make sure white is on the foreground. And I'm just going to paint over this arm to just brighten it up just like that. And I think this has really uh, transformed the image even more. So I think that looks fine and looks okay. So you can see uh, the before and after right there. So the next thing is going to be saving this image in the best way possible. And the best way to save the image is simply coming to file export and come to export as and this is for people who have latest versions of photoshop i realize like if i told you have 2015 and below you don't have this option in your photoshop so you'll have this window open for you format is going to be jpeg and resampling make sure you want a sharp image after retouching it so make sure you resample to by cubic sharper and also embed the color profile and also convert srgb so make sure the two options are checked right here and after all that you can come and hit export so after hitting export make sure you can re you rename your image maybe i'm just going to name this ketra because that is the model's name ketra edited just like that and i'm just going to choose a location and hit save so basically after it has been saved, it's going to close this window automatically. So this has been a tutorial about how you can retouch your full body outdoor images and also color grade them. And if at all you have loved this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.